Greetings everyone and welcome to BrickCats. Today I'm revisiting Jurax T65 X-Wing version 2 for this episode of Rewind, the series in which I take a look at some older models and run through my pricing research process again. In the time since I did a full review on this model, parts availability has changed, Pick a brick has gotten better, and parts lists themselves might have changed. If you're interested in this model, you can get a 15% discount using my code, CATS15, on BrickVault's website. This is a great way to support my channel, and thank you in advance if you decide to use it. I do receive a small amount of compensation each time someone uses my code. Jurak's original X-Wing was the first model I built when I started building mocks, and version 2 is a meaningful improvement on the original. Version 2 is far and away the most popular review on my channel, who doesn't love an X-Wing after all, and I reviewed version 2 of the X-Wing soon after it came out in March of 2022. I'll be running through my substitutions for the Dirty Grey Red 5 model that you see here, but most of my substitutions will apply to all four variants. So without any substitutions, the vanilla parts list gave me 4 stores and $197 without shipping and tax, which comes out to about $236 with shipping and tax. And note that this didn't even include the four wheels that go on the end of the engines back here, as the specified color is quite rare, and usually there aren't any available. The substitutions I recommend are as follows. First, I remove the parts for R2-D2, which are still listed individually for some reason. I think at this point most LEGO Star Wars fans have at least one R2-D2 already. And these are parts 553-PX2, 30361-PB025, and 30362. The hinge plate 1x4 swivel part 2429C01 in reddish brown is very expensive in reddish brown. I recommend switching the color to dark bluish gray. These are on either side of the cockpit just behind it, and they do make up part of the red stripe, so dark bluish gray, as you can see, creates a small visual discontinuity, but I think it's worth it when compared to the cost of the reddish brown hinge. The minifigure utensil candles on the opposite cannons uh, in blue here, this piece has gotten very uncommon, and honestly this might be because of the popularity of this model, I'm not sure. I recommend changing the color to dark blue. The Technic Pin 3L with friction ridges, part 6558, specified in black, can be comparatively expensive. I recommend changing this color to the much more common blue. And these are mostly used in the stand down here, and you will be able to see maybe a couple, or you might be able to see the blue in a few spots, but it's not too, not too bad. The Technic Gear 12 Tooth Bevel, part 6589, specified in light bluish gray, is used right here at the um, kind of the midpoint of the cannons. And these can be changed to light gray, as light bluish gray is very expensive, and light gray doesn't really make much of a visual difference either. I've removed the two tile 1x2 with Star Wars computer pattern, part 3069 BPS1, and these two are inside the cockpit here on either side of the pilot seat. You can substitute any Star Wars-y like printed tile, or simply increase the 1x2 tile count in light bluish gray, or whatever color really, to buy two. The plate round 1x1 with bar handle on short stem in black, part 25893, tends to be very expensive for some reason. This piece is much more common in trans clear, and this works fine, as these are nearly completely hidden inside the front fuselage right around this area here. For the cockpit itself, I switched to the from the version with the printed metal rivets, part 21849PB01, to the newer print with simple light bluish gray markings, part 21849PB05, which is the one you see here. And finally, on those wheels, I switched the color of the wheel 18mm by 14mm with axle hole, part 55982, from flat silver to light bluish gray. Flat silver is more common than when I first reviewed this model. I literally think there were none available in North America when I first reviewed this, and I got super lucky recently and was able to buy four of them all at once. Um, so I did that and just recently switched them out for this video, but they are very uncommon and tend to be priced accordingly. I've seen these go for like $3 or something each, um, and that's just way too much for me. Uh, so I recommend changing these to light bluish gray. With those substitutions, my algorithm results were 4 stores and $159 before shipping and tax, or about $196, and that's $40 less than if I did not do any substitutions. And going full pick-a-brick, I had to split the parts list into two wanted lists to avoid the pick-a-brick limits using Brick Hunter, 
And the pick of brick total between the two orders was $178. And this includes tax, but does not include shipping because shipping is free. And for that's worth, uh, both pick a brick um, orders met thresholds for waiving the handling fees, so you don't need to worry about that. The remaining 15 elements on Bricklink got me two stores and $8 without shipping and tax, or about $23 with shipping and tax, for a grand total of $201, and that's $35 less than if I did not do any substitutions. So this, rep this represents slightly more savings than I found when I first did the review. With Pick a Brick, I was only testing buying as much as possible from Pick a Brick, but you could likely cut down on the cost by removing some of the more common elements from the Pick a Brick carts and adding them to your Bricklink wanted list. And I think there's probably a sweet spot around $190 or so, and that would be about $50 off the no substitution cost. Instructions for the X-Wing cost $18.99 from Brick Vault, and there will be a link in the description to Brick Vault's webpage where you can buy them if you so choose. You get four color variants in the instructions. You get the Dirty Red 5 version you see here, the uh, dark blue version, a clean white version, and just a, um, I guess what I call a non-dirty gray version, which doesn't have some of the color marking, the off-color markings that you see on mine. Remember, you can use my discount code, that's CATS15, for 15% off. There's also a Rebel Starfighter pack that I think is the best deal, and that costs $59.99. And the pack includes the X-Wings, the RZ-1 A-Wing, the Y-Wing, and the B-Wing. Thanks as always for watching this episode of Rewind featuring Jirak and Brick Vault's X-Wing version 2. If you've built this model, you have something to share that I left out, or have a question about something I didn't cover, please leave them below in the comments. Remember to leave the video a like, subscribe to the channel, or follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Be sure to let me know what you think of these shorter form Rewind videos, I hope they're useful. And it's really nice and kind of fun to uh, take another look at some of these models. And I hope to see you back next time.